Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a navigation bar uh, on Framer. So it's going to be a responsive um, navigation bar where you, for example, you go through sections, it's actually going to light up the specific section within the navigation bar as well as it's going to be uh, buttons specified for each section. So once you click on a specific one, it will take you to the section needed. So I will actually show you step by step, very slowly, so it's going to be beginner friendly, how to actually go ahead and do it. So I'm going to take you step by step uh, and do it with you. So first of all, you go ahead and actually identify your sections that you want to create the uh, navigation bar for. So here I'm going to have four sections, this one uh and then this which says welcome and then these numbers uh and then finally this section for example so once we identify these sections now the first step is actually going to be naming them so that framer later on knows that this section is named this specific uh name so it's very simple to name them it's just simply uh you click on the section not any content within, so not the picture, not the text, not uh, this content uh, thing. Uh, you need to click on the entire uh, section. So once you do that, you go to the right dashboard. Uh, you scroll down a little bit until you see uh, scroll section name. So you, you will need to enter a name for this section uh, under this uh, part right here, under name. So I'm just going to name them based on the first uh, word they have. So here I'm just going to name it uh, this section example. So example. Okay. So this is the first section done. It should say example. Next, we go ahead to the other section right here, the purple one. And I'm just going to name it welcome. Uh, obviously, again, don't click on any content within. Just click on the entire, entire thing. Uh, and go ahead and go to scroll section and name it welcome or whatever name obviously you would uh, want it to be uh, underneath I'm just going to name this numbers because it does have that or metrics I'm just going to name it numbers so numbers and then lastly I'm just going to name this whale because it has a flying whale for some reason so let's just name it whale now we have all sections named and done double check and we have them all named and done it's it's good to go so this is the first step i hope you are following along and it's very simple uh to, uh at this point so now we need to obviously create the button or the item that is going to be used as the navigation and to do so you just click on text on the top uh, left and then you just place it wherever you want it to be and then just name it navigation okay so just like that so now you have a text that says navigation uh, what you do next is just right click on it and then uh, add stack you can do Control alt enter or you just add stack by right clicking uh, now that we have a stack we can just click on columns here and adjust it a little bit give it a little bit of padding if we want so maybe 15 padding and um, just obviously if you want to adjust anything else you can do so feel free to do so basically but the next step so now we created text and we added a stack and we just give it a little bit of padding that's all we did uh, next up we just right click on columns again so this one right here right click and then create component or Control alt k so create component and then we just name it navigation or let's just name it nav to make it easier for us. So once we name the component nav, we just create it and now we have the component page here. So within the component page, we're going to have the primary one. And what we need to do is simply just click on this plus uh, sign here. We need another variant. So we want a default and we want a um, active. So when we actually scroll through the uh, sections, is one is going to light up and the other one is not going to be lighting up. So that's simply why we're going to do it. So we click on the variant and obviously now we need to name them to make them, um, to you know tell the difference between them. So let's just name the first one default. 
And then second one, let's just name it uh, active. The name is not going to be visible within the website. So it's just going to allow us to, you know, tell the difference. The primary one, we want to actually go ahead on the right. Uh, after we click on it, go to the right where you should see the fill option. You just click on that and make sure the opacity is zero. It's going to change both. But if you select the active one and we go to fill. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Let's make sure it is a hundred. And let's actually give it a little bit of color. We don't want it to be white, depending on you, by the way. It's just you, you want to make it visible. Uh, let's, I'm, I think I'm going to go with a purple uh, purple background. So maybe, obviously you can change this later on. Let's just make it gray for now. And then uh, we can just change that later. What we can do also is uh, give it a little bit of a radius. So it's not fully square. Okay, I think this is nice for now. So simply uh, put, we just made this opacity zero here, 100, and we just gave it a little bit of color. That's all we did. And uh, we should be good to go for now. We can just go back to our home page. So within our home page, if we just zoom out a little bit, now we have our nav item here. What we need to do is obviously um, uh, duplicate it for as many times as we have sections. So I have four sections, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to duplicate it to be four, four um, items. So I need to duplicate three times. One and then control D if you want to make it easier. So I have four now. I should have four. Yes, I have four. So now after you duplicate them, you just simply select all of them and then right click. Oh, sorry, my bad. We just select them, right click and then add stack. And now we have a stack. Or we can actually just make it um, fit content. Maybe here also fit content. Anyways, now that we have them here, we go ahead and minimize the desktop icon. And we just drag it underneath the desktop right here. And it should be like this. So let me just zoom in, go a little bit to the left. Oh, maybe just zoom out a little bit. Now it's a little bit uh, wonky. So what we do is actually uh, go ahead and make it instead of fit fill, same goes here, fill, and we should be looking much, much better. So now we have the items, it's just a matter of actually uh, navigating them to the the uh, rest of the website. But first, uh, once we made it fill, we need to make sure if if you want it to follow us underneath the website. So if we scroll down, it just stays up there. Uh, we go ahead and click on it, the entire thing, and just go to the type and make it sticky. Okay. And to actually make the sticky one work, we need to go ahead and click on desktop and then make sure that if we go to the right, make sure that the overflow here is visible. Now, if we just preview the website and scroll down a little bit, we should see that it actually follows us down and it is good to go. So right now we have the navigation bar done. We just need to actually put the functionality to it. So once we actually scroll past the section, it should uh, do the thing that we talked about. So to do so, you go ahead and click on each one and then adjust each one to the specific section. So the first one, we just click on it and then obviously rename it the first thing we do and just rename it as the name of the section. And let's actually rename all of them first before we get into anything else. I think the second one was welcome. And then the third one was um numbers and then uh i believe whale yeah okay so now after we name them we need to give them an effect so you go under the effects tab after you obviously select the first one and just click on the plus icon and you select scroll variant once you select scroll variant, the trigger should be section and view. And then you the viewport, it's up to you whether you want it to be on the top of the section or the middle of the section or the center. 
Uh, I doubt anybody actually uses the bottom of the section, but it's really up to you. I suggest either middle or uh, top. Let's just keep it at middle. Uh, and then we just go ahead and uh, underneath underneath section, we just click on it and then we select the section that we want. So for example, we go to the example section and then we set the variant to active. So we want it to be active when we actually scroll through the example, but we want it to be non-active when we go past the first section. So we just click on add section and then the other section is going to be welcome where we want it to be default. We want it, we don't want it to be active still, even if we scroll past it. So this is basically what I'm doing. So uh, that's that should be done. So again, section here, the first one is going to be the section that you actually want and then you make it active. And then the other section is going to be what you want uh, to turn off when you go to it and just set it to default. I hope that, uh, I hope it makes sense. I'm trying my best. Uh, okay, so once we are done with this, you can just exit out of this. And instead of actually going through and doing each one uh, like we did the first one, we can we can actually just copy uh, the effects. You just cl uh, click on it, right click, go to copy and copy effects. And then we just paste it to all of them. So paste, paste effects. Here again, paste, um, paste effect. Where's paste? Okay, here paste effects, and then here paste, paste effects. And obviously, we need to do some manual work. So once you select the second one, and we have the effects pasted, we need to adjust it a little bit to match the uh, the second uh, section. So go to the right dashboard and go to under effects and click on it. Uh, let's change it to be the welcome. So section, welcome, active, and then the other section is going to be numbers. So always just the section after. Uh, okay, and then the next one, here we go numbers, and then here we go whale. And then for the last one, I you will need to remove that. So here, whale, and then there's nothing after it. So we just remove this by clicking over here and remove. And we should be good to go. And now if we just uh, view the desktop, it should actually light up to the gray color that we gave, which you can obviously change later on. It's up to you. I will show you actually how to change it uh, right now because we are going to give it a button functionality because right now if you click on it, nothing happens. So to change the colors and give it a button uh, uh, functionality, you go ahead and click on either one of them and then just double click, which will take us to the uh, the page for the component. Here, we can change the color of the gray by just clicking over here and making sure we select whatever color we want. Let's just keep it to gray. I don't want to change it really. So we can just keep it as that or maybe just, just for fun. Why not? Here we go. Okay. Anyways, so now that we changed that, let's actually give it a button thing functionality where you can just simply click on the default uh, primary here. And then you just go on the right of the dashboard where you see a uh, link. You just click on that and then you click link to create variable. And then you it's up to you whether you want it to be smooth or instant. I, I like to keep it smooth. Uh, and then we just go back home. We are done. And now we need to adjust each button to the specific page. So it's very simple. You click on the first one here, the example section. We want it, uh, the button to be for the example. So we go to link. If we just find a link. Uh, where is it? Where is the oh, right here? So underneath nav, we should find a link. You click on it and then you click on home page or whatever page you have the navigation on, usually home page. So you click on home page and then you select the section example. The second one, same thing, home page and then section welcome. Same thing here, home section numbers here, home and then lying whale. Uh, and I think that's everything that you need to know. I will show you one last time. Now we changed the color to be very extremely crazy, but now we can actually click on whale and it will take us to the flying whale. 
If we click on numbers, it will take us to the numbers. If we click on example, it will take us to the example and so on. So now I just uh, showed you exactly how to create a um, navigation bar. Now, obviously, the decoration and stuff, I can't really go through each and every step to how to decorate it. Change these colors, for example, the background color. It's, it's just, you know, it's going to be down to you and your preference and how you want to customize it. Uh, but I hope that this was useful and you know how exactly to change uh, or not change, create a navigation bar for your framer. And thanks for watching, guys.